To it. Go ahead and bring a lot thorn. Ain't no giant, I ain't gon' fire on. Catch a fade, you I'm wrong, I'm gone. Y'all can catch the wave that I am on. I am icon, y'all are wide wrong. Think that I'ma reconcile bonds. So ain't nothing to it though. This is all me, ain't got much to do with who you know. Keep it a true to form 10 L's into a milli though. But they already knew that those for to your opinions know that he is something. Okay, so we'll start off the box machine. This is really important in terms of actually developing your quads and your legs. Quads and your legs because a lot of people just stay away from this. If you want to have bigger legs and thickness to your legs, it's really important you train your adductors. Big thing you want to think about with this though is not trying to like throw and launch the weight, which is big a lot of people make. You want to try and have control through the full range of motion. So a definitive end and definitive start to every rep and that makes sure you don't injure your groin. doesn't have a safety like I was and you fail, you're kind of fucked. It's a bit like, I don't know if you noticed, but I'm saying it's like trying to get you to slow down at the bottom of the hamstring curl, because like, yeah. I think probably from we used to run, pretty naturally, but if you go back to being explosive. Yeah, I tend to be explosive, yeah. right? So now it's kind of getting out of that habit, yeah. especially in ranges that are more dangerous, like something like this. So that's kind of why we've been pausing. Let's go, and again. Up, drive, and again. Yeah. Go, you've got another two, come on. Big leg, let's go. Yeah. Drive, last one, let's go. Oh. And again, and again, and again. Up, yep. strong, strong. Slow, 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 slow. It's a common theme is now Calvin has just run off the toilet. I went to the toilet beforehand. I don't know if anyone else gets this comment below if you do. Before the big sets, you need to go for a piss. It's like a nervous piss. It's like a piss of excitement, yet fear at the same time. <laughs> yeah, unless you're very experienced. Oh yeah, or you're really used to that movement. Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. Let's Try. go. Drive. <coughs> Fuck. I knew that was going to be good, man. Well, a lot of time, like, I think I've done 13, it's like 9. Yeah. yeah. Fuck, that's the worst thing. Or like sometimes I've had sets before where it's like 15 to 20, and I've been trying to get 20 for like a month, and I get it. I'm like, fuck, right? And I, I watch the video and it's 19. I'm like, <laughs> oh, you got it back in. <laughs> Bro, come on. Drive, nice. And again. Drive, and again. Lightweight, let's go. Last rep by the first rep. Drive, and again. Let's go. Easy. Up. Here we go, I'm hitting you. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Up. Drive, and again. Let's go, it's all you. Let's go, come on. Let's go. No. Up, 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 Ooh. and again. Good more, good more, good more. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Up, up. strong, and again. Good more. Last set. Let's go. Let's go. Last rep, best rep. Let's go. Up, up. Yeah. Drive, 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 drive. Nice. Woo. You know, it's a good set with head wobbles going. <laughs> going into paralysis here. <laughs> Yep. 
Come on. Come on. Easy. Come on, Charlie. Finish. Finish. I should have been there with you, man. I apologize. Okay, guys. Let's go to three. Fuck, it's not walking out the top. Keep fucking on. Calvin the quad's burgers. Let's go. Nice, good. Let's go. Keep continuous. Round again. Here we go. Round again. Ah, come on, let's go. At least two more with me. Let's go, Calvin. Come on. Two more. Let's go. Up. Right, oh. again, last one, last one. Slow down, go up, drive, drive, drive. There it is, Charlie. Good. You got more. Try, 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 try. Good. Again. Drive. All you. Come on. Yep. Drive. Come on. <coughs> At least two more now. Drive. Up, 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 up. Good. <coughs> Come on. Come on. Good. Absolutely. I think you struggle to like. You know, it's interesting so what watching obviously what you said in terms of you have issues with the bottom end of range yeah. like you don't always like to come fully flexed yeah. to the bottom it's almost like you know, if you have injuries or knee problems before like you don't want to come into no that. i think it's just obviously quads too big yeah. <laughs> i wish i had that problem we're not strong enough to very hard yeah it's so like before at times obviously trying to push output I've been working in the range where I can produce the most amount of force, which might be adequate depth, but isn't all the way into the stretch position, right? So like I need to get out of that habit now and not just worry about where am I strongest or where am I actually stre stretching the muscle as much as I can. I think, I mean, that's what I would think is really the issue with me. So it's being diligent. Like when you're saying, go on the stretch, go on the stretch, right? I'm hearing that. Trying to put it into practice. Good, let's get it. Control all the way down, really control. Nice. Little the quad straight all the way down. Let's go. Easy, and again. And again. Up, drive, up for you. Let's keep it Stretch and squeeze. We're having that one side, two more, two more. So, up, there, and again. Last one. Slow all the way down, last one. Three second Right, like three, two, one. Here's a question for you, so also we just trained legs. What uh so like asking people questions at the end of the training session. What's your what's the biggest mistake you see people make with leg training? Or biggest thing to avoid? Um overloading movements. Trying to use too much weight. Too much weight, and then inherently that ties in with poor execution. Right? Because a lot of us we can connect with certain muscles very much easier when it's on our upper body, but with legs. It's easy to have the sensation or the perception that you're connecting with muscle just because you're tired. Because when you're squatting or doing some of the bigger compounds for legs, it's a bit more taxing on your nervous system. So you can mistake the fact that you're just tired for the fact that you're working a given muscle group. A lot of people don't usually slow it down or pause or move into the stretch position like we were today. So I think people become a little bit impatient with their exercises because they're overloading. So part of this, I think, is a British issue because I think you've started pushing this movement quite heavily is in terms yeah. of like progressive overload, just put more yeah. weight on, put more weight on, just focus on fucking strength at all cost, which I think a lot of people now are starting to come back away from that. Like I lift a lot less than I used to probably like three, five years ago when I got yeah. wrapped up in that and was competing was just like, just move as much as I can and my joints all felt fucking horrendous and mm -hmm. I was inflamed all the time, which now I feel like fine. Yeah, it's a fine line though, right? Like 
No being a pussy and then Yeah, like, like as we see people moving away from pushing the logbook. Yeah. You see these uh, this other party they from this other like, camp they where they're, like, they're, they're like, doing everything perfectly yeah. and they're not lifting shit, right? Yeah. They're measuring so, the fucking bench make sure it's like the perfect degree. Right, yeah. right. So you have to set the boundaries in which <coughs> you, you deem effective or appropriate execution to be, but then you still have to push it, right? Like today with the pendulum squat, like I'm pausing. That is my new boundary of, of sound execution for me, but I'm still going close to failure, right? But I think a lot of people now, especially with the, like this idea that training with four, five, six RIR is effective. So, I mean, my point is, there's two sides of the fence and you have to kind of try and ride the line in the middle. So this is why I've never been a fan of like the reps and reserve thing is? No, no. It's quite not quantifiable no. because you're fucking making up in the time of your head of like, oh, I've got another like, I don't, like, like we said on the leg press, you go and you go and you go and like, bang, I'm done. Like, yeah. how do you know when that's coming? You, you don't. This perception, which is your own bitch voice in your head being like, I think I got four reps, I'm gonna stop. Yeah, which is flawed because we're emotional too. Right, so you put like ego lifting in that, and maybe I say I have three, three reps in reserve, whatever the fuck that means, when I could have gotten seven or eight or nine in the right environment, and then you're just selling yourself short and getting nothing out of it, and then guys are wondering why they're not growing, right? So, I mean, you have to push output, just within, like I said, like within appropriate execution. And I think the two things with appropriate execution people need to focus. I think first is tempo, and then, like obviously there's caveats to that, but like full range of motion. Yeah. Whereas like. For example, like a, I remember training this guy once who I want to say it was just like a, a fitness influencer. Don't ever anyone call me that. And I hope you don't think I'm a fitness influencer. But no. it's like after today, no. Yeah, yeah. He's <laughs> like, he was like, a, he was doing hat squats. When I was training with him. I was like, why are you only going halfway down? He's like, it gets my quads more. And I was like, I tried to explain to him, and you know, when you're like, do what you want. Like, yeah. People need when you understand that like, there's some exercises where maybe you want slightly less of a range of motion, but like generally like rule of thumb 95% of thing you probably want to go full range as much as you can if you can yeah. do that and then control the tempos like you said using a pause mm -hmm. if you struggle to like control an exercise or a, like through a rep by forcing yourself to have like a definitive start and stop yeah. to every rep you're going to have control and therefore limit the risk of injury and also maximize probably muscular development yeah it depends on what you're using too right like with the pendulum squat it has a drop off and load into the bottom mm. which allows us to then take advantage of either moving into the hole into a fully stressed position or pausing right so for like your buddy or whatever that's maybe only going halfway down because he's lifting more weight and therefore feels like he's connecting with his quads more well that piece of equipment is actually set up to allow you to get full depth so if he's not taking advantage of that it's a lack of understanding of the implements being used so i think it's also important that we understand you know the the uses of the tools that we have at our disposal, and then again, like manipulating it appropriately to the individual mechanics. Actually, it's interesting you say that. It's when I think about like a back squat, for example, I can go ass to grass, but I know that's not beneficial for me because my hips will fuck. Exactly. Up. I can go to parallel; it's fine. Come up again. But I can go deeper, but just because in that, this is probably the exception to the rule. That exercise, I don't want to go deeper mm -hmm. because it's going to bring other things into play to force that range. Yeah, and you can say that because you have an understanding for the multitude of systems involved yeah. in creating that shape with your body, right? So it's important that we do have a deeper understanding. Even these guys that, you don't have to be a coach or a personal trainer, or, you know, an industry professional, but you should still take a bit of time and research and learn enough that at least, at the very least, understand the intents behind the movements that you're doing so that you can make these distinguishments like you just said with the back squat, right? Someone that doesn't know that how are they supposed to know how to perform 10 different versions of the squat, whether it be front squat, back squat, leg press, pendulum, hack squat, because inherently they are all slightly different in their own way, you know? 100%, that's where it comes from self-awareness of thinking about why you're doing something rather than just doing it exactly. for the sake of it. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I want to say how many things do we do in our lives where we don't understand why we're doing it, but the answer is too much, but we should pay more understanding or pay more attention to what it is we're doing and that carries into the gym as well, right? Awesome. Awesome, dude. Thanks for a great Thank session. Thank you so much, brother. Uh, hope we get some more training sessions filmed. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, comments below any questions, and we'll see you next video.